Right. So one of the issues around using this tool is that there are a lot of hidden calculations that are going to be made from the data that's inputted onto the data spreadsheet. And one of the quirks that it has is that if you input data into a block and then move out of the block in any other way other than pushing enter, it mucks up the calculations. So normally you can move around in Excel by using your mouse and here I'm going to click into this um, cell or you can even use the up down arrows so here I'm moving across to different cells using the up down arrows however if I'm entering data I need to actually push enter after I've um, entered it in order for the calculations to go. So we've entered the data in here now what I need to do as soon as I've entered that data is I need to push enter for that data to um, be taken across to the calculations. One of the very frustrating things though is that we're actually inputting data in from one folder across the screen, like that, um, and when we push enter it, go it moves down. So I, I want to just show you a very nifty little thing where you can change the setup so that Excel will allow you to move across when you push enter rather than down. So this is on a Mac. I'll show you on a Windows um, one shortly. On a Mac you're going to go up to the top here where it says Excel and you're going to push on that and then go into preferences and the screen will come up and you're looking for the edit button. Once we've gone into edit you'll see different options. The third option down reads after pressing return move selection and it's got a direction choice for you. At the moment it's on down and we saw that earlier. We're going to change it to right and move out and now I'm going to go into the cell and I'm pressing enter now because you can't see what I'm doing but I'm pressing enter and here it's actually taking us across. So that helps now with the requisite having to press enter if you want the data to fit into the calculations, but it's not going to do that frustrating moving down and then you have to move across and up again in order to get to the next cell. I've made a little slide show about how to do it on a Windows computer. So if you're doing Excel on Windows, you're going to go up to this top button here and you're going to press it. Up will come these different options. You're going to go down to the Excel options and press that and then this um, table will come up. You go into advanced features and your first option here is after pressing enter move selection and we're going to change this again. And we're going to go um, to the right and then we're going to go down to OK and there we go. Uh, you should get the same effect.